Okay, hiya, Glenn Murphy here. Now, I thought I'd shoot this quick video because I've got a question. I even got someone to knock up a graphic for me. Not sure if you can see that, but if you had to start all over again. Now, the reason I've been online for the last oh, four to five years now and uh, making lots of mistakes, getting some things right and lots of things wrong, but I'm still online running my business. But the question was, what would I do differently? Well, the first thing I would do would definitely, definitely drill right down and find out what I'm really passionate about, what I really love to do, whether it's walking dogs, whether it's swimming, whether it's fashion, whether it's discovering vintage eyewear, because I've got an eye literally commerce eyewear store, buying up old eyewear in Italy. But it's not about me, it's about trying to put a message out there and it help others that are getting started because the reason I decided to go online is because I had a situation with my little boy and uh, some personal issues where I had to kind of work from home. I'm a Londoner, you might tell from the accent, but it's based in Italy. But I was in Spain anyway, it's a long story and I'm going to tell you that another time. But my pain was I couldn't be away from home. I needed to be near a good hospital and be near my son. So I decided to have an online business where I could work from home. But I bounced around. I was doing e-commerce. I was doing affiliated marketing. I was doing all kinds of things. So. The top five for me, if I was starting over, would passion, drill right down, do something that you really love. Number two, platform, pick one platform and master it before you start jumping around. It could be YouTube, could be Facebook, but master one platform, work on a platform you love, doing something you love. Now, the other thing that's very, very important is to join a group, join a community. Don't try and do it on your own, a Facebook group, even a local group, but join a group. It's so important to get people around you that you, know, that you can bounce ideas off. The other thing is, it's very, very important, and it's, you know, this comes back to a little bit about the passion, but you know, do something you love. You know, if you like writing, set up a blog. If you like doing videos and you have no problem doing videos, set up a video channel on YouTube but find something you really enjoy doing and it's one of your skills. Because if you're working with your passion on the right platform, doing something you love, then you will do it day in, day out. And the fifth thing, let's be honest, it's the most important thing, is get a coach. Work with someone who's a little bit further down the path than you are. That was where I went wrong. I left it to the, you know, I tried so many different things and I realized that I've run a marathon once and I, you know, I was in a terrible situation trying to train, trying to fit it in. I got a coach, joined a running club and I was living in Spain and then we ended up doing some really good time, some really good training together and I flew back to London and completed a marathon. But I would never have been able to do it on my own. And when I look back through everything I've ever achieved, I've always had a coach, someone with me to kind of make me accountable, but also to pick me up when I'm down. So, you know, make sure you choose the right topic, drill down deep and find out something that you really love and you're passionate about. Pick the right platform. And also, as I say before, join a group. You're not going to do it on your own. And that's, you know, there's so many groups on Facebook and, you know, there's meetup.com. Loads of groups you can join. They're all free. And you'll be talking to people about your passion that are passionate about it as well. So that'd be networking as well. And then, You've got to, got to work on a platform that you enjoy working on. You know, now you, there are blogging platforms and there are video platforms and there's so many choices, but you have to be somewhere where you really, where the time passes quickly, let's say. I mean, I speak to writers that love writing. I'm not a great writer. I'm a good talker, as you can tell. But the writers, the hours pass quickly because they're doing something they really love. And the fifth and most important thing, just to recap, get yourself a really good coach because they will pull you through and you can have a weekly call with them 
or however you design it and with the group the coaching and doing something you love you'll get there so they're my top five tips so it's Glenn Murphy glenn murphycom signing off and yeah I think I'll drop some more videos in and uh, see how we go all the best now it's quite late here in Italy so I'm glad I got it in because it's been a very busy day all the best now Glenn Murphy signing off ciao